Remember how we talked about a 90 being called a stub? Yes. Well, say a guy's gonna build a building. All right. And say uh, these are wood walls and uh, this is concrete. Okay. And this is the ground. Okay. To build this, what they'll do is they'll, they'll come and they'll set their forms here. Right? Mm -hmm. And then all the electricians and plumbers and guys like that that are going to run stuff in the slab, uh, they come along and they, uh, they run their underground in, in that, where that form is before the concrete's poured. Right. Right. And what they'll do is, like, if there's a panel here in the wall, let's say, and uh, before those walls are built, they'll have the plans and they'll know they need a piece of conduit coming up like that coming up like that and going underneath the, the concrete. All right. So what they're doing is they're stubbing up. They're putting a stub into where the wall's going to be. And they're putting over here, let's say this is going to be an outlet, they're, they're going to stub up into there. And then and that stub's going to stick up, say, three inches. And then after the walls are built, they'll come in and they'll put that can in the wall and they'll put their conduit from there to there. And they'll put their conduit from there to that box. All right, but, but when they stub up into the wall, they're making a 90 degree elbow, and that's where the term stub up comes from. That's why they call a 90 degree a stub. All right, that's probably your most basic bend. Okay, and there's other videos that show how to make that, but just just there's a 90 degree bend. That's one of the basic bends. Gotcha. Your other basic bend is an offset. Pretty simple. You just, the offset of this is the distance from this side of the pipe to this side of the pipe, or this side of the pipe to this side of the pipe, or even the center line of the pipe to the center line of the pipe. It's all the same measurement. If it's two inches here, it's two inches on the other side. On all three of those. There's two different kinds of saddles. If you're just going over one piece of pipe or some small thing, your saddle can look like this. All right? And that's called a three-point saddle. One point, two points, three points. But say you're jumping over a bunch of pipes, you need a four-point saddle. Which really, here's one point, two points, three points, four points. But it's a four point saddle is really just a pair of offsets an offset here and an offset back. Okay? Uh, the three point saddle, there's, there's videos on how to bend all this. You got your back to backs. Um, say you got a floor and a wall, and I don't know, four feet away is a small closet. And say you're coming down like this, you can bend a 90, and then when you get to this wall, you can bend a 90 back up, and that's called a back to back. All right? And that measurement's actually not taken from here to here. It's actually taken, that's the overall distance, is the back-to-back. -back. All right. But that's not the only way it can go. Like, in, in here, you're looking at a U-shaped thing, but it can also be an S-shaped thing. That's also a back-to-back. -back. Okay? And the back-to-back -back distance is the farthest distance to the farthest distance. Okay? And there's videos on how to bend those also. Now, there's two more ways that this can go. You, you could be coming down like this with a piece of pipe, and you could bend it towards you. 
you know, so, so like this is in a plain U-shaped, this is in a plain S-shaped, but you could also come down here and come and have it come 90 degrees off the page or 90 degrees into the page also. Those are all back-to-backs. Say this is a wall and this is a ceiling, and say your pipe is coming along right in the corner between the wall and the ceiling, okay? And uh, say you're coming along like this, and all of a sudden you hit, a, there's a column here and a beam here. Say it comes out, uh, say it's a six inch column and an eight inch beam, let's say, all right? Well, you gotta, you could offset down and then offset over, but there's another thing you can do where, where you roll the offset, all right? So it still, it still looks just like an offset, okay? But instead of being flat to the ceiling or flat to the wall, you, you roll it off the 90 degree thing and into, um, you know, as much as you want, right? Um, I find the best way to do this like say, say you actually measure eight inches to here, so you want this to come out to 10 inches, and you measure this six inches, so you want that to come out to eight inches. I find the best way to do it is find a square of anything on the job site, say this is a table, and you know, you put a little mark there, you, you come out eight inches, you come out 10 inches, and then you take your tape measure and you measure this distance, and that's how much you want this offset to be. Does that make sense? Not really. It's all right. <laughs> this is a triangular thing. You know, there's, there's probably a formula that, that does this. You could say this is 8 inches, and this is 10 inches, and the square root of this and the square root of this is equal to the square of this. Or something. You know what I'm saying? Right. You could do it that way. But the easiest way to do it is just in real life, well, you know, if you, if you were able to get your tape measure up here and just measure the diagonal distance, you could do that. But a lot of times, you know, I'll measure something, say, uh, here. Say this is a wall and this is a ceiling. And say there's a wall back behind here. A lot of times there's a, a stud right here um, and a stud right here. They're called nailers. And that's like when they, when they, like if this is the ceiling and this is the wall, a lot of times they'll put a stud up against this wall and a stud up against that ceiling and then they'll, they'll nail their drywall to those nailers, okay? So a lot of times if your conduit's running along here and you hit that wall and you want to drill through the drywall, you got to come in like two inches and two inches. Well sometimes rather than measuring that, I just go to something square on the ladder or on a table or any in a window and I measure up two inches and two inches, right? Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and then I'll measure this and it'll come out to three and a half or something. You use something that's square because the the wall and the ceiling is also square. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's called a rolled offset. You use that quite a bit. There's another thing we call a kick. So you got a panel here with a bunch of conduits coming up. And coming off your panel, you got a four square box. Uh, and you're coming off of this thing and you got a 90, say you got to hit a box over here. And what you want to do is you want a 90 over, right, and hit that box, okay? But uh, let, let's say you haven't got enough room, uh, see these are fairly big conduits going up, um, and, and this is only half inch for the wall where it goes into the box. What you can do is you can bend this 90 and you put what's called a kick right there. And what that is, is it, it brings it off the wall after you bend that 90. So uh, looking at it, you know, if the box were here, you'd be coming out of that box and you'd kick up and then the 90 degrees would bend towards you. So that's called a kick. All right, well, I'll try and show you. Well, I think we've got one in there. We're going to. We'll, we'll yeah, take, yeah, that makes sense. Take a video. I see what you're saying. That's called a kick. All right, the only other op the only other thing that I can think of, kind real of similar to an offset, but it's, called it's a like, kick. yeah, it's like half an offset. It's yeah. like half an offset with a 90 going the other way. The 
One other thing is the shepherd's hook. All right, so say, see this is a floor, and this is a building, and say, say you're in a room over here, and uh, there's a room here with a higher ceiling than these two. And say this isn't going to be acoustical tile here. Say this is going to be dry, you know, solid drywall. Okay. But say it's not there yet. And say you got to get over to a box over here. And you're coming up this wall. Well, if this is going to be a hard ceiling, you can't have a junction box up here. Because junction boxes have to be accessible. So you can bend what's called a shepherd's hook. Go that way like that. And a shepherd's hook is just a 90, which is a little more, and then a, a kind of a kick in the same plane. Uh, it looks, see what, what that, do, that do for you, say your panel's here and you got to get to a device over here. Uh, you come up, if, if you just went straight up and tried to bend it, the curve of the bend would hit that wall. But you can, you can kind of kick out a little bit, then bend the 90 in the same plane, and the, the bend will be ended by that point, and you can go straight across the ceiling. Same way here, you go out beyond it, do a little more than a 90, like 100 or 110 degrees, then come back here and kick back to the wall and come like that.